Leonardo decapitates Shredder in the old Mirage comics. So in the very first Ninja Turtles comic ever, issue one, the one everyone is familiar with, for the most part, everyone knows that the Turtles knock Shredder off of a building at the end, along with the thermite grenade that Shredder had on him, causing them to be blown to bits and killed. What I feel a lot of people don't know is that eventually he comes back and runs the Turtles out of town, causing them to go to the farmhouse, similar to the movie. Eventually, the Turtles come back to face Shredder, and ultimately, Leonardo is the only one to make it to the rooftop of the Foot headquarters to face him. And this is one of the most monumental fights in Turtles history. When Leo enters the lobby on the top floor, he discovers the Shredder meditating, getting ready for the fight. Leo wonders how he's still alive, considering they had killed him already. Shredder tells Leo a story about how the Foot Clan, skilled in both the mystic arts and modern science, gathered his remains from when he was killed in issue one and fed it to a strange and rare breed of worms that takes the appearance and consciousness of whatever it consumes. Saki was reincarnated when the clan allowed the worms to feed on him, or his remains, this amplifying his desire for vengeance and hatred for the turtles. And that's how he got his body back, although he seems to be scarred all over as a result of the regeneration process. The two engage in an all-out battle with their swords. Both are evenly matched, but Saki finally wins. But just as Shredder prepares to administer his deadly blow, the rooftop splits open from the force of some chemicals that were released down below by Raphael as he was fighting the Foot Clan. The breach on the rooftop now has Leonardo and the Shredder separated, but they both charge at each other. Leo and Shredder pass each other in midair as they leap. You can see Shredder's head and shoulders are separated by a very thin line, and the scene ends. Later, Leo arrives in the sewers and meets with his brothers. Leo, standing at the doorway, has a tarp-wrapped body in his arms. Oroku Saki, the Shredder, is no longer alive, Leo declares. Moments after, the four brothers are shown standing by the harbor, and on the last page, you can see Saki's body is cremated as it floats away. You can also see Shredder's helmet on Leonardo's sword, which is stabbed into the ground. A very dark and memorable moment that inspired other dark moments in other versions of the Turtles. Armed.